What's up, everybody? This is Sean Wolfslegel coming at you from Sean Wolfslegel Cybersecurity. Tonight's topic is about a free cybersecurity degree. And yeah, that sounds pretty clickbaity, and I don't want it to be a clickbait title or a clickbait type of video, so stick with me. I have a four year degree in cybersecurity, and I've spent the last nine years of my life working in IT. And I believe that this stuff can be learned not necessarily on your own, but more so to the fact you don't need to necessarily have a degree anymore in 2023. I think that you can go ahead and become a cybersecurity professional without a degree, and that's going to be my goal. I want to make you a cybersecurity engineer. I want to make you a penetration tester or an AWS expert or whatever you set your mind to. I think that you can do it. And I think that you have the ability to go far as long as you set your mind to it. Let's dig into this. First of all, let's start off with 101. What is cybersecurity in general? Well, we all know that cybersecurity is protecting assets. It's taking care of businesses and making sure that their, their data, their stuff stays secure. How do we do that? We do things like the CIA triad. The CIA triad is a big beginner part of cybersecurity. It's sort of the basis of everything that we do. The CIA triad is confidentiality, integrity, and availability. And the way that works is you have data and you don't want it to get into the wrong hands. So you need to make sure that the data doesn't change in transit and that is what we consider integrity. So the data doesn't change at all from the time it leaves point A to the time it gets to point B, and C and D and so on. And even if it comes back around to A at some point, that's integrity. Confidentiality is making sure that only the people who need to know are able to know and that the data can be encrypted. That's one way of increasing confidentiality and availability is where you have data that should be able to be seen by those who need to be able to see it and not those who need it but also not getting in their way you don't want to get in people's way of being able to do their work but you want to increase the security so you have this CIA triad it's a triangle so with the CIA triad you're introducing this concept of cybersecurity that most folks can understand. And whenever you start to dig into this concept and you start to explain it to people who don't necessarily work in this field, you can help them to make sense of it. And so that's going to be the next thing that I want to dig into, which is articulating your points. It's a huge thing in this field. Whether or not you start off in help desk or you go ahead and you dive right into something like penetration testing, which is like the, the big dream of everybody in cybersecurity and what they want to do these days, including myself. I love penetration testing. I think it's awesome. But the whole concept is that you want to be able to talk to people who don't really do cybersecurity for a living, people who are finance gurus, people who are completely ingrained in the business and help them make sense of why it matters. Let's say you work for a hospital and you're protecting healthcare and you're working with what we call PHI, which is personal health care information. And so with that personal health information, we don't want that to fall into the wrong hands, obviously. That's people's social security numbers, that's people's blood tests, that's people's private records. There's so much there. If you think about any time you go to the doctors, what's all in that? There could be very private things in there that you don't want other people to see and that goes for anybody the point being is that if you are going to protect this information for for people you need it to make sense to those people who are running those businesses to say hey if this falls into the wrong hands this could really come back and bite us we could end up having a major lawsuit on our hands we could ma ha end up having a major issue on our hands where we're now facing three, four, five, six million dollars plus of lawsuit. And so 
because we didn't protect our data, because we didn't encrypt, because we didn't do that CIA triad, because we didn't do that, we don't get to have any way out of this. And why should we? Because we didn't do our due diligence, we didn't do our due care, and because of that, that's why cybersecurity matters in a nutshell. And so I think that if you can stick with me for this series, eventually I'll release this all as a full course and I want to allow people to get a cybersecurity degree for free is what I'm going to call it. So stick with me with it. I'll learn some cybersecurity topics that you'd go to a four-year university to learn and I promise you it's going to be worth it for you. And I'm going to make it fun and exciting and engaging, and I appreciate your time, and thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks.